Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here from Ice Games, bring you episode 100. That's right, episode 100 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Let's Play with my Sith assassin here, Hosrath. That's 100 episodes of, well, pretty much just death and destruction. Gosh, that's what that's what Sith are all about, eh? <laughs> we started from humble beginnings as a slave. Now we're part of the Dark Council. Uh, currently... Um, well, currently on the fleet, uh, but we're currently in the middle of kind of a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a secret war, almost it feels like, with the uh, the Revenites. Uh, so we're on our way to Arishi to finish that off. But we are on the fleet today. Why are we on the fleet today? Well, I got a couple things I want to show you, uh, making this a little bit of an, an extra special 100 uh, episode kind of thing going on. I decided I want to change uh, change some things about Hazrat a little bit. Um, first off, uh, if you guys can see, I got my new little like flare thing for around my my face here. Now uh, the way I got that, and I actually ended up getting some uh, cool little posters and stuff for a stronghold, was uh, during the Star Wars celebration that was a little while ago. Um, you could type in a code on the Star Wars The Old Republic website and redeem a, redeem a code to get some uh, some free stuff. That's how I got some of my mounts, some of my armors and stuff like that. Um, so this year's code, if you go to, I'll have the link and uh, the code in the description below, but it's, um, I uh, can't remember the exact, uh, uh, web address for it, but I know if you go to the Star Wars Republic.com, sign into your account and go to like my account and like redeem code, it's down there. Uh, so this year's code is SW Celebration 19, kind of all one word, no space. So you get uh, this cool little flare, and I think it was like four different posters and stuff. So uh, I think it was pretty cool. So free stuff's awesome. Star Wars Celebration was awesome. Got to learn about the new expansion and all that fun jazz. So hey, if you guys are playing Star Wars Old Republic, free stuff. All right. Um, also, on that note, I just want to talk about some of the comments I got from last episode. So I got a, a message from Anteater809 saying, almost episode 100. Well, we're at episode 100. So yeah, last episode was almost. Now we're at episode 100. So thank you, Anteater809. I am very excited to be here. I'm not not amazed we got this far, but I'm excited we got this far. This has been a, a lot of a, a really fun journey. And uh, I'm really excited to be here. So thank you guys so much for all the support and everything over the last couple of years. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much. Um, Iris the Dragon Master says there's supposed to be a cutscene uh, at the start of the flashpoint we did last time. That was the Blood Hunt flashpoint, I believe it was called. Go to solo here for a second. Uh, yeah, Blood Hunt. There's supposed to be a cutscene before that. Apparently it used to play and it's not playing anymore. I did um, go on YouTube and find some... Uh, some people that have recorded it and it i mean it shows the reason why you actually crash and i hopefully they can fix it that ah, i kind of wish every flashpoint had a little video and something like that before i think that'd be cool maybe they can go ahead and add that probably not but i think that'd be pretty awesome but um thank you so much iris reggae master for letting me know that uh that they uh they have that so thank you for that also had a, a comment from uh zero nine black uh cobalt Cobalt's S, or as uh, as I can also let you know, Darth uh, Redinus. Uh, that's an awesome name. Darths are awesome. You must be definitely a fan of the Sith Empire. So um, you're mentioning that now. I know why you love Rishi because it's awesome. Uh, it's got uh, Shea Vizsla on it uh, or Torch. Um, I think I think I remember hearing that name before. It might have even been. Um, I'm trying to remember something. I know I've heard that name before. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out. So I'm guessing she's going to be a character that comes back, but we'll find out soon enough. That's for sure. Uh, you also mentioned that my mic was papping a little bit during the episode. I apologize about that. Hopefully it's sounding better this episode. Um, I'm definitely on the fence about switching uh, the way I kind of like uh, recorded it at my software. So if it's happening again this episode, let me know and I might uh, end up end up switching some stuff around. So uh, thanks for letting me know there, Darth uh, Dark Radinus. Or how do you pronounce that? If I'm pronouncing it right, let me know. Um, if I'm not, let me know too. Uh, so uh, thank you, uh, Darth Radinus. Thank you, Iris. And thank you, uh, Ant Eater 809 You guys are awesome. Keep those comments coming. I love hearing from you. Um, also, I'm going to... Uh, to kind of say I definitely want to form a guild for the channel too. So if you guys are able to join me, um, hit me up in the Discord channel. Uh, I'm thinking um, not uh, this current Saturday, but um, let me grab my I don't my, my calendar for a second. But um, the best bet for me would actually be uh, May fourth. 
Actually, it's a pretty good day. <laughs> it just coincidentally has to be May 4th. So May 4th, uh, I'll be playing some Star Wars The Old Republic starting at about noon Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys are playing on the Starforge server, I would love, love, love to uh, meet up with you guys, play some Star Wars of Public, celebrate uh, May the 4th. Uh, I totally planned this. Didn't just look at the calendar right now and happen to make it. Um, but uh, that is the plan, at least. Uh, maybe we can join um, if you guys have uh, some empire characters or some uh republic characters uh we can meet up and uh and form a guild for actually i think it'd have to be two guilds technically some guilds for the uh the channel here and get things going so it'll be may 4th at noon pacific standard time i would love to uh, love to see you guys on the starforge server um uh, but what are we doing here why are we kind of way above uh the cantina here well it's because i keep forgetting we got a collector's edition vendor here so, Collector's Edition vendor sells a bunch of really cool stuff, some customizations for characters, uh, some cool colors and stuff like that. And as you can see, I ended up buying uh, a couple things here. And I ended up going to the cartel market because Hazras here has been wearing the same armor for a while now. So I'm like, you know what? Let's switch our armor up. So um, this is my current uh, active um, outfit designer, mainly because I'm wearing a couple of the pieces and I forgot to add um, some of the, the armor stuff to the side here. But I got uh, this one too I just picked up. So let's, uh, let's make this one my active. So let's apply this. And this is called the Unrelenting Terror uh, set. So that's what this one is here. Gosh, I do like the look of it. I think it looks super awesome. I love the shoulder pads. Definitely a little bit more armored. And uh, kind of more more fitting for, for a Darth that we got here. I know it's a little bit more warrior-oriented, but uh, the fact that it's not, like, huge, it's still light and uh, and easy to move around here, I think uh, this is a pretty good set for the, uh, the Sith Inquisitor, too. So that's why I ended up picking this one up. Let me know what you guys think, but uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad we got uh, a new set of armor here for uh, Darth Knox. I guess I should be saying Darth Knox to be wearing here. Colors are colors are pretty awesome too. We still get a, a nice flowy cape. Gosh, I like that. That looks pretty cool. And um, I also ended up picking up um, the Cyberglow Muvar uh, as a new pet. Let's take a look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at how cute you are. Yeah, that's right. You're adorable. <laughs> I love like a lot of cybernetics on this guy. So I'm like, you know what? I need some new pets. Let's get some new pets. I also got a hut observer. So I think this is, yeah, it is a new pet. So, um, are both of them up for some reason. Why are they both up here? There we go. Um, let's go to P for a second, go to pets. So I decided to grab the hut observer pet too. So it's just like a little, uh, little kind of probe that follows you around, which looks kind of cool too, which I like the look of that. Uh, so that's again, something you can pick up at the, uh, uh, the Collector's Edition vendor. I'm not sure if there's still a way to access this if you don't have the Collector's Edition. But, um, I mean, it's got, it's got some awesome stuff here. If you guys want to want me to go through some of this stuff, let me know. But uh, some of it gets pretty pricey. And some of it's pretty awesome. I also ended up picking up. That's why I have uh, Ashara here. I ended up grabbing a new customization option for her. Because, I mean, she's kind of she's kind of sithy now. I mean... She still sometimes said she's a Jedi, but I decided let's uh, let's make her let's make her extra extra Sithy looking. So we actually have a new little customization option for her. So it gets her a little red screen, and kind of darker uh, uh, for her head area here and stuff. I'm not sure exactly what this is called, but uh, I think I think it's definitely uh, definitely more uh, Sithy look. So uh, I'll be bringing her on for this mission. So uh, I'm kind of excited for that. So thank you guys for indulging me as I go through new armor, new pets, and a new look for Ashara. So that's kind of fun. So um, also, uh, so I'm going to grab my reputation trophy here. And while I can, I might as well grab my... Throw those guys in there. Not enough to fill it up. And let's actually see what I get for these tiers here. So I got two different crates to open. Uh, I can have ten things. So each crate gives me five. So let's just open both of them. Yeah. And then open you before I look through it. Bloop. All right, so let's see what we get here. We get ourselves a Mark. What is it? Uh, Revenite's rifle Mark II. Ooh. 
You know what? That's actually a really cool looking rifle. I really like the look of that. That's actually pretty awesome. So let's um, not worry about that. Let's claim that. Claim that. Uh, we got Eternal Commander Mark II um, Stalker's Cuffs, which are actually much better than I'm currently wearing. So I'll probably grab those. Um, some junk here. Some something for crafting. Some more CXP. Um, ooh, a large influence gain. Uh, we got ourselves a new hat here, which uh, I'm not the biggest fan of. But is it better than I currently wear? It is better than what I'm currently wearing, so I'll probably take that. Um, well, I mean, I'm going to take it all anyways. And then a bunch of the command tokens. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the command tokens, but no, let's claim all that stuff. But my can command tokens go to currency. So I've got 70 out of 3,000 that you can hold. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be spending on that. But hey, um, I'm collecting them. Might as well. Uh, let's actually equip uh, that. And put you down here. And let's... Did I end up getting two of those? I'm not sure I ended up getting two rifles. But I'll take that and equip that. So again, the reason that it's not showing up on my character here is because it is sh showing up in my like this is what my character would look like if i wasn't wearing one of my outfits let's go to this outfit and actually put these here and this one here i want to replace them because with the changes so um putting something in your outfit designer costs costs some funds that's why uh i'm down below three million now i think even grabbing a new outfit itself costs money too everything costs credits in this game um but um i think it was like forty-four thousand credits in total uh, to get the outfit plus like 20 to get my second outfit or second um, active outfit there but uh, yeah as I replace it I'll get so I always have uh, this set the phantom uh, set to go back on uh, let's use my let's use that get some more experience let's use that to make you happy -er with me and that's then nice. uh, that I can sell from someone later. But uh, that's all I'm going to be doing the fleet here, guys. So thank you <laughs> for indulging me here. Uh, I'm going to do a little cut here and meet you guys back where we are supposed to be on Rishi. All right, guys. Here is where... Ooh. I didn't notice you can kind of see the whole galaxy back here. Is Rishi really that far out that you can see? Uh, galaxy map. Galaxy map. Oh, it really kind of is. Well, no, not quite that far. That you would be able to see um, kind of the galaxy looking that far away. But far enough that, or maybe maybe the galaxy map that we have is um, is not proportional. Maybe that's it. But uh, that looks really cool to see that in the night sky. That is really beautiful. Gosh, Rishi, you are an amazing planet. Ugh, I'm really excited to be back here. And uh, like I said, we got... Uh, uh, Ashara with us uh, with her new look. We got a little hut obser observation droid. Ooh, I'm actually wearing the wrong outfit. Why am I wearing the wrong outfit? Oops. Apply that. There we go. We got our new outfit and we're ready to go. So let's uh, see. So we got to seek with someone here. The Revenites revealed. So Theron has been captured by the Revenites and we need to establish a new base of operation before beginning our search the native species the rishi i have a village on the island speak with their leader and uh, hopefully we can figure things out uh it's gonna be over here so let's actually go this way let's go up this way what revenite tra oh there's revenites around here that's who's that's who's here you know let's take a couple of them out take out some of these revenites oh, we actually have a bonus objective to take more out good that's what I was hoping for. Force, I can do anything. Aha, there we go. go Hogma, I might actually have to give you. I keep forgetting. I've got your. Uh, what color blade is that again? I can see here. And. Boop. That is a. Oh, it's just the blade it comes with. I don't have a crystal in it at all. Might have to pick up a new crystal. Get a different color for that. I mean, red is always is always good for a Sith. But uh, if you guys have another color suggestion, let me know. Also, again, let me know what you think about the new armor and all that jazz. Oh, we got a bunch of Revenites down here. Let's take these guys down. I only have to take out six more, so... Mwop. Deal with you 
guys. Ah, ah, actually, what does it say before I finish it off? So between you and the Rishi village is a beach full of Revenites. Defeat those cultists and make your way to the village. I will. I will. Oh, and I think I might have also forgot, guys. I'm going to be doing um, kind of a little bit of an extra long episode this time, too. It'll uh, for sure be an hour long. And then, uh, depending on how how far we make it in, it might make it a little bit extra long than that. That's for sure. Grab that. Ooh, we got a new helmet here. And... It's not very good. Okay. That's fine. Let's use our rocket boost. I do like to do flare. That's awesome. New flare looks good. Oh, there's more revenants over here. Oh, well, let's, let's stealth up. I don't need to take any more out. So let's be sneaky. They can't see me. All right, let's break stealth. Just gonna run quicker. Head this way. Which way are we going? Still going this way? Wait, would that have taken us? Can't quite tell where the map's gonna be taking us. Let's see. Little tropical. What's with the glowing fruit? Ooh, we found the Rishi village. New location discovered. Okay. Good. How do the Rishi stand having those pirates on their world? There's so much beauty here. Why don't they fight? I don't, I don't know why they don't fight. No one knows. Ooh, we got a lore object over here. So, ex not Exonium? What is that? So, while the Nova Blades on Rishi make a sound income from extorting and slave trafficking, their strongest growth category has been in mining the fossil fuel uh, Exonium. Uh, in its solid state, Exonium coals are easy to ignite and burn for a long time at a high stable temperature. In fact, the Rishi have long used Exonium to keep warm and render fish fat. Oh, cool. Its real value, however, comes from refinement. In attempting to return to the stars, at the after being stranded on Rishi for an extended period, the Nova Blades found that refining Exonium not only made a suitable fuel for propulsion systems, but also acted as an effective uh, reculent, or recuant fuel for their hypermatter drives. What? Because of its value, the Nova Blades tried to keep their origin world uh, of Exonium a secret, but now anxious prospectors have begun to trickle in from all over the galaxy. Whether these prospectors will pay the Nova Blades Recently introduced Exonium ex export tax remains to be seen. Ooh, so it's another uh, another fuel sample in the, in the in the universe. That's kind of cool. Uh, but let's talk with the Rishi. Are the Rishi these like? Oh, the Rishi's are those bird kind of people. Cool. So species wide, the Rishi uh, appreciate community. Many, however, also exhibit an affinity for transcendence. Because of this, Rishi villagers are designed to offer lodging and social activities in a tribal setting for as long as any family or individual Rishi wish wishes to remain. No one owns property, but rather claims it for a time of their choosing. Rishi villages are commonly set up uh, upon highly, high elevation evil, uh, evil, <laughs> upon high elevation oh my gosh my reading comprehension today is the worst. Uh, so allowing the Rishi to easily spot prey in the waters below while severely restricting the pathways it would, of would-be predators. Their huts are typically built from bark, roots, branches, and cereal stalks. Cool. Uh, they are far more durable than appear at first glance, and each hut is constructed with a specific location in mind to best withstand local as atmospheric uh, patterns and phenomena. Uh, a more recent addition to their villages are wooden bridges, uh, which have been added for the convenience of non-Rishi guests. Okay, so yeah, Rishis are like the um, the owl-looking kind of peoples, which are really cool. So let's talk with you and see what uh, what's going on. You're new. Are you in charge here? We don't really operate that way. But I can act as that sort of figure if you require it of me. How might I help? My allies and I would like to stay here. Do what you like. No Rishi will have an issue with your presence. Uh, 
I suppose now that we've left Raiders Cove, you're going to start complaining about them instead of the pirates. You cleared the path well, and made a friend. I am called a rain cow. The other inhabitants on this island, are you in contact with them? Do you know what they're up to? If an individual Rishi chooses to get involved with others, that's that Rishi's choice. Otherwise, we tend to see no reason to inquire. These other inhabitants, they have also kept to themselves. Strangely, their encampment appears to be segregated. One group looks like her, the other is less... intense. If they have more of you in their roster, I might be joining the Revenites. You flatter me. If their Sith Lords are anywhere near as deadly as Lana, we're in deeper trouble than when we almost became fish food on Manan. So, there's a camp for Imperial traitors and one for Republic Revenites. And they're not exactly friends. This may provide an opportunity, either to extract atonement for their deception or to employ a little deception of our own. It's an opportunity to thin the ranks, is what it is. Your zeal for making heads roll never ceases to surprise me, D4. But don't worry yourself, it may yet come to that. I'll take a closer look at these Revenite camps. And we'll attempt to establish a better grasp of their activities. I hope we can establish where Agent Shan is being held. As do I. We, Rishi, would be grateful for your help around the village. If you choose to provide it, of course. Savor your travels. Alright, so it looks like we get, um... A little arm piece here, so let's accept that one. Um, also, some... Uh, oh, that's that ore I've been collecting the... Oh, excuse me. Um, the whole time. So let's accept that. Also, I remember why I wasn't bringing uh, Ashara with us. Because uh, uh, a couple of you guys have mentioned that I should get my flare on with Lana. So that's what I've been doing. But um, we have traders burden here. So it wants us to discover the location of a large... Of a group of Imperial traders who have joined the Revenite. So i got to make it over there. But maybe I should help some of these Rishi a little bit too. So let's talk with you. Several of our scouts have not returned. We don't believe outsiders are involved, but we're puzzled nonetheless. Our scouts are quick on their wings, sharp with their talons. Delay is unusual. Kindly alert us. All if right, you so he's asked them. for some help locating the scouts that have gone missing outside the village. So let's search for the missing Rishi. Uh, get some extra credits, some command points, and more importantly, some um, reputation. So let's accept that. Uh, looks like you want help. You're not a Rishi, but that's okay. We're not here to fight. Just taking mineral readings. So prospectors are searching for valuable exonium, <laughs> exonium deposits on Rishi, but the wilds of Sky Ridge Island are too dangerous for them to search. So scan local ore deposits for traces of exonium. So let's uh, accept that. Uh, both of those are taking me over here. So let's head that way. Do 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 do. Gosh, those Rishi are cool. Oh my gosh, they're an interesting race too, just with the way their society works. Where they're kind of like, yeah, do what you want. If you want to chill here, you can chill here. If you want to go over there, go over there. Whatever you need to do. Very chill. Ooh, hello, Bez. Oh, are you one of the Warriors Three? Have you heard? The Slayers Three have come to this world from the Spawn Nebula to dominate these pathetic creatures. You are a hunter. You are a living weapon. But we are the galaxy's greatest, and we seek competition. All right, so Bez, uh, Martilla, and the rest of the Slayers Three are carrying out a ritual hunt on Rishi, and all are invited to participate. So recover uh, Grofet meat from the jungle. Grofet's on the island. And then again, more items. So this is the third of the uh the uh slayers three sorry i think i said warriors three but let's accept that uh remember i think the second slayer we met kind of doesn't want to do it anymore let's interest what uh what they're like champions Ooh. Mm, okay let's do it sure why not Oh, I have like a mini one of you. You guys grow. Look at how big you are. All right, you ready for this? Whom? Please don't kill me quickly. The best duelist in my class. No! 
circle attack. I don't know if it helps at all. Probably doesn't. Uh, knowing the way Star Wars works. But for some reason, I like to run around in circles. Oh, right. So, Beastmaster of Rishi. Prophet. Let's, look, let's take a look at these guys. So, uh, domestication of the forging omnivores known as Grofits has long been a goal of life farmers on Rishi, but the notoriously stubborn and intelligent mammals do not take well uh, to pens or cages, Groffits use their dense mass, low centers of gravity, and uh, nodal pocked foreheads to ram defensively into predators and other nuisances. While their long, sensitive ears make them especially difficult to get the drop on, Groffit demand uh, has spiked among game hunters in recent years, for their raw entrails have become a noted hut delicacy. But you don't count. What do I have to kill then? From the jungle graph. Okay, so it's got to be specifically the jungle graph. It's okay. Good to know. Good to know. Got to locate the missing scouts. Okay, so it's got to be you guys. Oh, you guys are much smaller. No. Oh, maybe it's just an item I need to get. Yeah, I think it might just be an item I need to get. Well, let's start heading this way to find the missing scouts. Not worried about this. Uh, the crab. Um, see if we can find the missing scouts here. Where are you, missing scout? Are you around here? Come on, up, hut observation droid. Let me know. Oh, maybe it's the bigger ones here. I gotta get the. Kind of confusing. There's so many Groffets here. <laughs> um. Thanks for the help. We got this. We got this. So that's one of the meats. I need to get three of them. Uh, oh, you're a scout? Oh, no. You didn't make it. Uh, well, I located one missing scout. Oh, there's another one over here. Another big, overgrown jungle prophet. Oh, it's an aura bird fledgling. Hey. Cute little aura birds. Bloop. Don't need to fight you, so it's okay. You are lucky I don't have to fight you. Oh, we got a Revenite foreman over here. I'm gonna take out the Groffits first. Oh, there's another scout over here, too. Ah! Groffit meat. Only need one more Groffit meat. Boop, grab you. Uh, apparently, your scouts aren't so well. Oh, hello. There's a big guy over here. Oh, this is the, uh, the ore spots. There we go. Ooh. And EX49. Oh, it's Revenites. Revenites are mining here also. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh, well, we know what happened to this scout. Well, I need to get revenge for the the, the Rishi you killed. Deal with you. Life was bad. Womp. So I like it when they do that, where they kind of tell a little bit of story of what happened to this uh, Rishi Scout. I get another ore deposit over here. Yes, yes. Boop. Boop. That means uh, another Revenite mining droid. We get the deposits from the mining do droids. That's kind of interesting. Beat water creatures. What? It's going to defeat the savage creatures on Rishi's water. Oh, so it's a bonus objective to take out extra creatures. Well, let's take out some of these guys then. Why not? Why not? Maybe you guys count. Maybe you don't. Let's find out. Yep, they count. Okay. So just take out any of the creatures around here. Bonus objective gives me extra command points. That's what it's all about. All right. Take this Rishi scout out. All right, we found all the Rishi scouts. Uh, I don't want to head back yet. I want to hit all the wrong buttons because that's what I'm doing. And I want to head. You know what? I'm just gonna grab this pile again. It's right here. Might as well. Another 
droid's gonna pop up here. Bloop. There you are. I'll get the third thing I need, the third disc I need. And now let's look for some more Groffits here. Groffits, where are you? Oh, we got some more fledglings here. Some oral bird fledglings. <laughs> Oh, here's some uh, more groffets. And then I'll probably have to go to an area to put the meat on, like, a tree or something again. To summon an even larger creature. For the ammo. All right, so we need to destroy. Oh, it's actually right behind me. Uh, I probably wanted to do that bonus objective then. So let's um, recover Scar Claw Teeth. Let's place the bait here. Oh, hello. All right, let's take down this creature, this um, giant lizard guy looking thing. All right, you are down. Got your teeth. Now I finished all three of those. So now let's just go find the Revenites. Find some water. Boop. What is it? Oh, there it is. An artifact fragment here. Let's scan it. Scanning, scanning, scanning mine. I think I gotta get back up there. And I can't jump while being in the water. What? Pause rest. Trapped by rocks. Um. I'm still going. I am still going the right way to get some more creatures along the way. Okay. I still got that bonus objective going on. There really isn't much to, talk, much about to talk about. Right That's okay. We got revenites and currently jungle creatures to take out. Actually. Going, yep, keep going this way. Totally missed all my enemies there. <laughs> you got like 14 to take down after you. Ooh, what's it? Oh, it's a Revenite camp here. Let's be sneaky. Let's be sneaky. Oh. These look like Republic. Rev yeah. These are the Republic Revenites. With their cool looking cannons. Um, let's go this way then. I need to enter the south bunker. Actually, maybe there's a bonus objective for taking some of these guys out. Let's try it. Bloop. There is 15. Gotta take 15 in the month. I can do that. Best duelist in my class. I've missed you saying that. You're the best duelist of your class. Oh, we got ourselves an elite here. Ooh, that's some interesting armor. I did find some really cool armor while going through the... Uh, uh, the uh, cartel market there. I actually found a uh, found a piece of armor. I think I want to wear my or my uh, my imperial agent to wear when I'm doing that let's play coming up soon. I want to finish this off and take out 15 of them. I also got a heal too. Let's see, and I might. You know what? Let's bring my. You have not both displeased me, don't worry. You. I just Off wanted to bring my uh, my protege to this while we... I want him to see me destroy these Revenites. And also, I don't want to get angry, angry if I get my third on with someone. Uh, reprogram friend or foe tags? What is that? 
Oh, we got uh, Lieutenant uh, Balco here. I've been working against the Revanites since I realized what they wanted. Take these codes. You can purge their databanks, ruin their systems. So Lieutenant Balco has a change of heart and wants to defect back to the Empire. Before he does, he asks your help in his redemption by purging Revanite databanks databanks for vital information. Take the security spike and uh, upload Lieutenant Balco's codes into any Imperial console in the Revanite camps. Then make a sure make sure the codes successfully complete their purge. All right, let's accept that. Oh my gosh. So much stuff going on I need to do. Let's go over here. I gotta find these friend or foe ones too. Actually, I'm gonna I can. Reprogram the friend or foe takes one of my Revenant ships. I'm sure they're exposed as enemies to the Empire. Okay. So that's gonna be a ship then. There's a ship. Is there. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's on top of the ships. Bloop. So I'm gonna find another ship here. Oh, there's one right here. I totally walked by. I'm also gonna find their computers and slice their computers. Let's take out some of you Revenites. Hey, someone else is fighting them. Cool. Ooh. How do I get onto this ship? Can't do it here. Oh, right here. Always look for the blue glowing thing. That's two tags down. Uh, oh, there's a console here for the slicing. How many of those do I have to do? I have to slice. Oh, beginning data bank purge. Oh, oh, oh. We have a Revenite Inquisitor here. Oh, the... The Chiss, I think that uh, race is called. There we go. Lieutenant. Let's take you down, because you're right here anyways. Revenant Annoyance. Do I get that for? Defeat 25 Revenants on Rishi. Awesome. I like defeating Revenants on Rishi and getting points for it. But now i got to find another ship here. That's what i got to do. Um, let's stealth up again. And use my rocket boost again to find another ship. There's one over here. Let's deal with this one. I mean, essentially you can do like all three on one ship, but that's no fun. Um, ooh. Your friend or foe takes below you here. Excellent. And I just want to see if the troopers count. Oh, it does have to be Imperial Force. It's okay. So I don't think... I'm going to take these guys down and see if they... If they can. I don't think they'll count. But, hey, more Revenites defeated, the better, right? Nope. Okay, they don't count. So those have to be quotations Imperial Forces. Good job there. Uh, they like you are kicking butt. You become so, so much stronger than you used to be. Okay, we did finish that bonus objective too. Oh, the bonus objective. Okay, so let's just uh, stealth up and return to our friend here. Oh, so much bonus stuff. I love it. Uh, although, you know, I'm sorry, Lieutenant Balco, you can't just come back. The curse worked. I suggest you leave. When the way opens, okay, so let's accept that. Depart. So we'll get our uh, Raiders Cove Saber or some reputation points, and let's head inside the, the bunker here. Be patient, Sergeant, but be ready. As soon as we have word from Revan, our work begins. Lord Ivris, sir, there's... it's... Dark Lord, how can this be? We have found out. I suppose Darth Maar sent you to fight his battle for him. Seems his usual way. No, better still. 
You learned about us and thought Ma could be in on it. You're here on your own. We have the upper hand. You might think you're in a position of strength, but this very second your Republic friends are plotting to take you down. Like me, they are resolute in their beliefs. They won't falter. Meaning you don't even have a contingency plan in place. What if the sworn enemies camped right next to you decide to revert to type? If I may say, my lord, he does make a convincing argument. It does seem we've been less than a step ahead for some time now. Our position at our heels and in the shadows. You'll get no further resistance from me. I can't vouch for every last Imperial Revenite, of course, but I can speak for those present. What do you intend to do about the others? Captain Milanek and his subordinates? I'll have my people look into your claims. You may well be right about them. Huh. <laughs> Got through that one without combat at all. Ooh. <laughs> I love the little animation there when you, when you look at different parts, too. Um, not good enough for me, but let's uh, take these ones. Accept that. Um... And let's enter the North Bunker now. Maybe I can play the two sides against each other. <gasps> Wouldn't that be fun? All right, so now I gotta go north. Oh, maybe that means I have to take out... Um, uh, Republic Revenites now for this bonus objective. Let's see here. I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to play the sides against each other. That would be fun. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, there it is. 15 of these guys. Excellent. I thought there would be. Oh, there's more of you guys here. What weapon are you using against me? Really constant stream. That was kind of cool. Alright, let's deal with you guys over here. Oh, looks like there's one up inside there too. The Revenite Troopers and Revenite Converts. Yes, I like Lord. the way you talk. Yes, Lord. Good. Know your place. Um, get some over here. I'm going to have to take out not too many. Seven more. Is there a mission for me? <laughs> I forgot to hit the buttons, or not aim at the right target, and my attempt didn't work. Good job. Alright, I still got three more I need to take out before I enter the bunker, so let's do that first. And want that extra... Extra command points. Ooh, there's even... Oh. I mean, it makes sense that Revan, I, or Revan would get uh, Jedi and Sith on his side. He did, at one point, he was one or the other. I mean, not both at the same time, but one or the other. That's kind of cool. Let's uh, do some seething here. Excellent. All right, let's head to the bunker. Because, yeah, if I can get them to fight each other, then uh, they can essentially destroy themselves from within. There have been reports of skirmishes in the area. I want you to stay alert for anything out of the ordinary. Such as? Fire the stars. Be ready to fire on my mark. You should be more worried about the saboteurs Lord Ivris ordered to infiltrate your camp. Nice try, but I don't buy it. Ivris wouldn't turn against the cause. No need to be suspicious. Look into it. You'll see I'm telling the truth. I swear, if you're putting one over on me... Go! Get everyone on the lookout for movement from the Imperials! Iris must be looking around for Theron Shan to use him against you somehow. What? No, he's well aware that Shan's in the Valley Stronghold. 
I'm gonna have words with Ivers when this is all over, I'll tell you that. You Republic types. You're far too trusting. <laughs> Lana, Theron's being held in a valley stronghold. Could be Revenant's there as well. I have D4, see what the Rishi know about it. We'll work out a plan of attack once you've returned. Alright, so let's uh, return to Lana. Where is she? Okay, she's just at the camp here. Can I quick travel to the camp? I can quick travel to the Rishi village. So let's do that. Oh, we also got our other ones we get to drop off now. Excellent. All the experience and stuff. Oh, it's like back here. I didn't even notice it was back here. Why didn't I just go? Why didn't I just do this taxi instead of this taxi? That, that would have made more sense to begin with. Uh, John, uh, let's keep those. I'll keep you. Yeah, sure. Let's keep you out for now. Keep you over here and sell you. There we go. And let's rocket boost and hand in all of our uh, little missions for this area. What's that one? Oh. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet. I want to hand my little little missions first. Uh, I've got you. I found your scouts. They're dead. That is terrible news. The fledglings will grieve the most. Yet, for you and I... There is no time for grief. There have been sightings of a gray beast, she who greedily devours. Now we know her ferocity outstrips our scouts and hunters. With your eyes so close to the ground, will you seek the beast's spore? She must be tracked for the sake oh, of the yeah, village. Oh yeah, let's do that. So he's asked us to search for clues to the location of the legendary beast, she who great greedily devours. There are clues as the beast passage strewn on the area outside the Reese village. So let's uh, find four signs for that. So let's accept that. Let's uh, accept that. Ooh, leveled up. Command rank. Ding ding. Level twenty-two now. Awesome. And uh, let's talk with you. You were scanning for Exernium deposits. Stars. <laughs> you could power an army with ore like that. Guess you've earned a share. Excellent. Maybe I'll build my own army with it. And I got one more over here. And we'll go into a little uh, hut there. Let's talk with Bez here. These are fine trophies. I acknowledge your skill in the hunt. The Slayers three have been bested. The honors and glory of the Spawn Nebula are yours. A good game. Oh, so we got uh, um, some achievement points for uh, getting all of them. Cool. So doing all three of them. Excellent. So let's uh, cut that off. Accept that. Kind of want to know about the Slayers three. They seem, they seem interesting, that's for sure. Up here, okay. There'll be a pathway up around here. Loop. Loop, loop, loop. Gosh, it's so nice to see uh, this game so populated. Well, let's head in here. I've never met a people quite like the Rishi. Pragmatic, accommodating, reasonable. If it wasn't for the climate, I'd consider staying. I haven't had any problems with them, so far. Always be at least a little guarded. Not the worst way to live, considering all the betrayal on display. As I mentioned earlier, I did acquire some information worth noting. Rishi observations surrounding the Revenite stronghold fit what we know. They're holding powerful warships on standby, and they're well protected. Revan actually intends to take on the Imperial and Republic fleets all at once. It's audacious, to be sure. We've been unable to reach the Imperial fleet nearing Rishi, but I can confirm from the Nova Blades data logs that Darth Maul's flagship is among them. Get to work on a solution for our connection issues. He needs to know what's coming. 
I'm working to remap the interference patterns into a code that protocol droids on approaching ships should be able to decipher, if they're any good. Press on. Stall their ships if you can, and we'll do what we can from here to reach the fleet and lend support as needed. I'm no pushover, but you aren't joking. We do hope Agent Sean is recovered. Yes. Preferably alive. Now go show the Revanites, and, fate willing, Revan himself, why you are not to be trifled with. Okay. Get ourselves some new gloves. Again, dark side points and all that jazz. I do believe I hit dark side level 5, didn't I? Oh, almost. So close to dark side level 5. So close. So close. Or at least, um, close to maxing it out. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's see. Where do we need to go next? So we need to disable the warships. Three of them. Hit the map button here. Okay, so the warships are north. Uh, the trail's along here. So let's head this way, and then I'll head on this path north. Okay. We can do that side mission a little bit, too. Oh, what's this? Examining, examining, examining. Way of the Rishi. All right, it's something I can read later. Let's head. Bloop. Again, unless you guys want me reading all that, uh, the codex stuff. Oh, I don't need to go stealthy right now. I need to go rocket boost. I gotta look for signs of the beast. Oh, let's look for signs of the beast passage. Oh, is that what this is? Must be. One sign of the beast passage. And I get some uh, creatures to kill too. No bonus objective, that's all right. I love your hide observer just kind of like waits around. Does the thing. Oh. Oh, there we go. Thought I clicked it. There we go. We got one sign of the beast passage. I need to find more. One of those bones and stuff scattered around. Oh, over here. Oh, this is the bones. Broken spears, okay. And then we got claw marks over here. Oh, and we got something over here too. We got a broken tree. Into that broken tree. I wonder if we have to fight the beast too. That'd be kind of fun. Oh my gosh, you like uprooted this tree. Alright, we gotta return to you. Oh, and there's also someone over here. You know what? I'll return to you after. What's this here? Oh, it's up inside this vehicle. Sensitive intelligence should oh, be gosh. Sensitive oh, gosh. oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh uh, gosh. Apparently I, apparently I triggered it twice. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's try to actually get on here then. Because it didn't actually let me accept it. There we go, that's better. Sensitive intelligence should be exchanged in person only. Speeder access is hereby granted to all. Use designated rendezvous points. Right, so Revenites are using a network of couriers on speeders to communicate sensitive information to their power base on Rishi. Destroying those speeders would force them to use less secure forms of communication. Destroy Revenant speeders around their facility on Sky Ridge Island. Let's accept that. Alright, so let's destroy some Revenite stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna actually talk with him. Just in case there's a mission, uh, the creature leads me this way. And I don't want to don't waste too much time going back and forth and back and forth, even though I am wasting a lot of time going back and forth and back and forth. Uh, let's go this way. Whoop. Alright, what's the plan now? Yes, the leavings of the beast. I know the hunter's signs. It must be near. Oh, for the days when I could rip apart a Tonatron with my beak. But she who greedily devours is yours, right, so if you wish it. If you do not, a hunting flock must be gathered. 
before our whole village becomes okay, so the Rishi have been hunting, being hunted by a legendary beast. He, she, greed, he or she who greedily devours. Their best hunters are unable to defeat it. Uh, ask for some help. Travel to the beast cave and defeat she who greedily devours. Ooh. Get a big uh, reputation reward and either a lightsaber or a pistol. So let's accept that. And let's see, where is that? Okay, awesome. It's all along the way. That's what I was hoping for. Let's hop on a mount then. Let's go this way. And let's follow the path up to the cave here. That's kind of cool. I like that. Well. I'm asking if I'm looking for a guild. No, I'm looking to make a guild. <laughs> Let's see here. Do do do. But I mean, I guess it is kind of weird for a character to be this far along without a guild. That's okay though. Ooh, we got some speeder bikes here. Let's deal with them. Revenite forces. Revenite scourge. Defeat 50 Revenites on Rishi. Excellent. Oh, the Revenites on Rishi. Uh, so, uh, bonus objective, take out eight Revenites. All right, let's take out this speeder bike. Boop. We can head in here. Take out... She who greedily devours. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Okay, are we ready for this? I think we are. Okay, let's do this. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Life ended. Not yet. Oh boy. That's a very interesting attack. Oh, she does have some. Oh, there we go. We took her down. Awesome. There's dragonlings here, too. Victory is mine. Oh, boy. I almost died. Let's see the bunch. And then head out there and finish taking out those Revenites and their speeders. There we go. Okay, and then uh, then we need to disable those warships. Uh, there we go. Let's head over here. Another speeder bike. Peter. Also, ooh, something else to uh, collect. My archaeology is now at level 71. Oh, we got some Revenites here. Oh, and uh, some more speeder bikes so we can finish this mission all here. Finish. Not quite yet. So we're almost done. Go. The mission forward guard. Attempt speeder transport. The enemy is poised to intercept. This is my final transmission on this frequency. We will see victory. Awesome, we won day. that. And now let's go take out those uh, warships. A little bit of time to travel there. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get there. That's all right. We enjoy the beautiful look of this world. That's for sure. Hey, jungle uh, crawfits. Bye, Revenites. I'm following someone else here. Hopefully they're going the right way. I don't have all the map unlocked here. So, ooh, what's this? Oh, this is something blue. It's always good to hit something blue. Oh, disable uh, Revenite um, 
uh, hydro generators and defeat 25 revenites. Okay, let's take these guys out then. Bloop. Bonus objectives we're taking out. And then we're going to the quarry. The greater the prize. Is that another hollow generator there? No. Okay. Let's be more inside here though. Oh no. It actually shows them outside. Cool. Shows up only on specific parts of the map. But sometimes like it when missions do that. Alright. Oh, there's another the hydro thing here. How do I get to it? How do I get to it? Oh, right here. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken out the uh, one over here first. Oh, I knew there's more around. Okay. Take you up. Open the map for a second. Oh, I only need to take two up. Never mind then. So let's um, open, focus on these uh, ships. I think I saw one, yeah, right here. Uh, this must be one of the warships here. I believe it had a blue thing on it. Oh, unless someone already beat me to it, probably. Let's take these guys out and see if it respawns then. Ooh, don't do that, not cool. No force joking, no force joking. There we go. Ooh, that actually is a cool looking uh, ship here. Let's uh, destroy it, though. There we go. One warship disabled. Don't worry about you guys. I need to find another warship. Oh, there's another one over there. Find our way over there. Oh, there's definitely more over here. Okay, good. There's a rocket boost to get over there. We do need to take out more Revenites, though. Galactic Rampage, part one! Uh-oh, oh, oh, there we go. Excellent, so let's head up this way. Almost done with the revenants we need to take out. Okay, nine more. Oh, be five more after these guys. Yep. Matt is my friend. Have that. Uh, can I disable this guy somehow? Or is you? Oh, you're not a warship. You're just like a cool-looking ship. <laughs> you're not a warship. This one up here is a warship. Okay. Thank you, just destroyed. Okay, I gotta wait for it to respawn. Oh boy. That's the part that sucks sometimes about uh, other people doing missions around you, too. Uh... But the respawn time for the objectives isn't isn't so bad in this game. Not like minutes like some other uh, MMOs I've played before. With that. Come back to me, warship. There we go. See, it's already done. And it looks like it is specifically three you need to do. Didn't notice it was an actual thing on the map here. Which is good. I only need uh, two more Revenites to take down. So let's uh, make you guys my two. That bonus objective. Oh boy. Smack that guy down. The commando. I wonder who would win if Zati and uh, Hawsrath decided to go at it. I'm curious. How can you see me? I was stealth up. 
Well, life whomp. ended. That, now you can say life ended, yeah, because you ended their lives. There you go. Don't say it before. Quartermaster's Steadfast Armor. Actually, it looks kind of cool. You, I will keep. We got this warship to destroy. So let's do that. We gotta take these guys down first, so. Whoop! And I can close my inventory. <laughs> Thankfully. I was trying to get it. Did not get it. Now I gotta wait for it to respawn here. Darny darn darn darn. Alright, let's just chill out for a little bit here. Even though it's still blowing growing blue. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of a cool ship here. I don't think I've seen that design before. Is that like a kinda of looks like a cargo ship. I'm guessing it's a cargo ship. There we go. Want access to the communications terminal? Where is the communications terminal? Okay, it's back up here. Let's head back over there. Let's access it. A little beater bike. Our Eternal Empire Patroller. That's the thing I know about. Ooh. We actually have a bonus objective over here. Let's do that. Let's check out what it is. Fellow servants of Revan, we are readying the anti-air cannons. If our attackers bring vessels to reinforce, we will be prepared. Okay, so some of the Revanite ships have already are already on the move and cannot be reached from the ground. They cannot be allowed to escape. Commandeer an enemy gun em uh, emplacement and shoot down the Revanite ships. Yes, let's do that. That sounds fun. Um, where is a, Tur oh, it's one of these turrets. Okay. Let's do that. Take you guys down. I want all the reputation I can get. Cause I want to buy that. Uh, let's hop on here. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, okay, let's hop out of it then for a second. Okay, so let's look for them. There's one. Public fighter with Revenite uh, friend or foe codes. Let's shoot it down. Excellent. Good shot. Let's find another one here. There's one. So we target it, lock on, and boom! Three down. Two more to go. Okay, there's one coming, one coming, one coming. Boom! And one more time here. The enemy is commandeering our defenses. Shut down the cannons. We've lost this battle. Excellent. So they lost that battle. So let's get that. So is that the um? Oh, oh, it's a bigger ship. I didn't even notice there. Oh my gosh, how do I not notice these guys around? There's so much going on in this in this area. I wonder if the Revenites and the uh, Empire you guys are fighting each other. Maybe that's what's going on. I'm not quite sure who's in that space belt right now. Okay, gotta go up there. Okay. Top of the mount here. Now we're all 
helping each other out, which is awesome. <laughs> there we go. Let's access the terminal. Accessing, accessing, accessing. Boop. I'm starting to get the hang of slicing. Theron's influence, I suppose. Give me one second. There. A hollow record of Theron under interrogation. Coordinates are coming your way. And Revan. No indication he's there, but no indication he isn't either. I wouldn't let my guard down. Uh oh. Okay, so let's free Theron Shaw. I'm just going to head in here. I'm just going to hold it past these Revanites. And head inside here. See if uh, Revan himself is in uh, is inside. Probably have a bonus objective for taking the Oh, there is no bonus objective. Okay. Well, this will just be for fun then. Thank you for finishing them off. Excellent. Take out this a couple techs. Clearly outmatched here. Ooh, Revenite Bane. Take out a hundred Revenites. Oh, that's all of those. Yeah. Revenites and their allies took them all out. I'm definitely going on a mission to get all the achievements someday. I like me some achievements. You guys are all down. Let's go this way. Got some more Revenite techs and... Oh, Commander. Dijon Tillage. You will fall. No, I won't. No, I won't. The plan remains intact. Uh oh, the plan remains intact. What is their plan? I should have known the Empire would send one of its lapdogs to try and find me. You should never have bothered. What have you done with Theron? Theron Shan's fate doesn't matter. Neither does yours. I'm changing the fate of the galaxy itself. All I see is you trying to destroy everything. I'm not waging some war with the Empire and Republic. I'm saving countless lives, and you keep getting in the way. The only upside in your being here, really, is that you get to bear witness. My plan's too far along for you to stop it now. Don't listen to him. It's not over yet. Theron, there you are. Figured I had a lot to tell you, so I broke out. Guess I could have saved myself the trouble. Don't know how much Lana or Revan told you, but he's lured the Imperial and Republic command fleets to Rishi. Revan wants to draw them into a fight, try to take out the leadership. It'll barely be a fight. Revanites embedded on both sides are gonna sabotage shields, weapons, you name it. And we can't warn them. Revan had the Nova Blades build them a signal jammer. No communications at all up in Rishi's space. It'll be a bloodbath. One call to Jakaro and no more signal jammer. The Revanites got that thing protected. You send Jakaro out there and he and D4 become part of the landscape. This place is coming down. Soon. You could have joined me, Theron. Understandably, you're as tenacious as I ever was. Goodbye. Alright, so... Let's uh, defeat these droids. Gosh. So how are we gonna stop the signal jammer if we can't get close to it? Be able to warn the fleets. Could just warn the Imperial fleets and not warn the Republic fleets and have them get destroyed. Wouldn't that be fun? If just the Imperial fleet showed up, I'm sure the Revenites would still want to take them down. 
Like kid, taking down two birds with one stone. Kind of hoping that's part of the part of the plan here. That's what Hazras would do. All right. Three down, so shut down the overload. Ooh. Over here. Come on, Theron, you got it. Hello? Are you there? Lara, what just happened? I appear to have sliced through four layers of encryption to remotely deactivate the power core. Just in the nick of time. Don't know if I could have managed that even. Theron. Good to know you're alive. I heard everything. About the jammer, all of it. We need to regroup for an immediate attack. Whatever happens, be proud of what we've accomplished up to now. See you soon. I mean, yeah, I'm proud, but we haven't finished anything yet. We gotta we gotta deal with these. So let's uh return to the Rishi village. Just quick travel there to make it easier. Yeah, we still need we still need to defeat the Revenites. And Revan himself. Don't know how we're gonna pull that off. We also need to talk with uh, uh, their like little. Well, I mean, I guess he's not his leader representative. Maybe that'd be a better way to say it. And uh, I don't know exactly what's going on. The creature that preyed on Rishi is dead. Oh, you bring most excellent news. Our fallen will glide on a warm breeze to their fate. Thank you, outsider. Let us feast on the beast's remains and prize your triumph today. Oh, excellent. So, ooh. I don't want to look at it. Can I not preview? Oh. I cannot wield. Oh, I can't wield an offhand weapon while, uh, while holding a two-hand weapon. Okay, so let's, um, well, let's grab the, uh, the lightsaber because that makes the most sense. Let's grab that. And let's uh, accept it. We also get the big one here. Accept that. And let's go see what we can do to stop the Revenite plans here. Don't know what we can do. All right, take it easy. I'm not exactly 100%, and you're not exactly gentle. Oh, good. The team's back together again. All thanks to you for saving Theron, of course. He's lucky I arrived when I did. I'd hardly say that. You know what, never mind. Theron, you have the intelligence on this signal jammer. You start. Right. The intelligence I gathered in the company of several interrogation probes while being held against my will? Jammer's on a nearby island. You've probably seen it. Can't be sliced remotely. Lots of Revenite zealots protecting it. The usual hopeless nightmare, basically. The way you two are behaving toward each other. I want to know what's going on. It's nothing that can't wait. Time's running short. You know what to do. It's what you always do. Triumph. All right. Ooh, some new pants. Let's grab some new pants and that. So let's accept that. So frontal spots assault. Speak with uh, Jero. Don't know who that is. We gotta head over here, but I think before I do that, I uh, I am gonna end this episode here, guys. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here because I do want to go over what I got this episode. So let's um, I'm gonna put these pants down here, that weapon down here, over here, and let's go uh, and take a look at some of the reputation. Got to remember the buttons to press. There we go. Uh, so let's go to reputation here for a second. Uh, where are we? People of Rishi, here we go. So let's let's use our big one first. I'm trying to get to champion. Whoop. Ooh, that was quite a bit there. Let's use these ones. Come on, can we get all the way to hero? So close, come on. I think we'll definitely make it to hero today. Yeah, this should this should put us over the edge. Astonishing. There we go. Reached a hero rank with the people of Rishi. And then 
on that if we can do... Is there a way to do... more of these at once? Cannot modify this item. Uh... Don't want to split them. This item cannot be previewed. No, okay. So, I guess I gotta do them one at a time. Unless there's a different way to do it. I'll have to do them one at a time. That's okay. Not really close to finishing champion, but hey, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. So champion with that uh, that that cool armor, and then let's actually take a look to see what we get for command crate here. One. Let's open this up. Kind of excited to be able to get the other command crates. So we got ourselves some more command tokens, uh, an eternal command mark one initiative package, and counted discovery of Corban and recon spotter gloves. So what are the gloves. Oh, those gloves look okay. Let's, uh, I want to close that. Uh, let's select all and claim it all. Oop. Put our gloves down here. I'll probably sell you later. You can come down here. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So, 100 episodes down. Maybe, maybe 100 more to go. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take to uh, get to the new extensions and all that jazz. But we will find out. I'm excited to find out. So, thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Again, thank you so much for all the support you've given me over the last couple of years. I definitely, definitely plan on continuing on seeing where the story goes. I know we got some new story content coming, I believe, September this year with the new expansion. Uh, so I've definitely got tons and tons of content to go through the, through until we make it to the end of Star Wars The Old Republic, and we'll, we'll keep going after that. How about that? So thank you guys so, so very much. Don't forget, if you like what you see, hit the like subscribe button. If you don't like what you see, you can hit the dislike button too. But please let me know down below what you guys are liking and disliking about the uh, the series. Actually, hey, just go downstairs down to the uh, the comment don't go, go downstairs go down to the comments just let me know your guys's favorite uh part of the series so far uh, i'd love to hear from you guys so thank you guys so 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 very much and until next time keep your stick on the ice